I can bring my gifts, but when I bring my gifts, sometimes they come along with little um, appendages of my past. Hmm. That ain't a pretty sight. You're bringing this wonderful gift, and along comes this family pattern. We all have them. I'm, not, I'm outing myself, but I'm outing you too. No matter what your family was like, no matter who was in it, we have family patterns that um, may have been beautiful, but also don't serve in the way we want to be right now. So there needs to be a surrender to a design that's greater than the one we've got in our mind and the one that's been running this planet so far. Surrender can sound like um, giving up. I want to talk about surrender from the standpoint of courage and vulnerability. It takes courage to be vulnerable to the fact that there's some things we just don't know how to do yet. Some ways in which we can do it, we're designed to do it, but we're going to look like beginners, and we may look like we don't know what we're doing. I'd rather do that than bring along these appendages. How about you? Let's surrender into, I'm about this, you're about it, now let's try something new, and let's be okay when we trip over our feet. We all cool with that? Everybody okay with that in the room? Yes. That, <laughs> that was a little tr um, shaky, yes, but it, well, I'll take it. Yes, I'll do it. I will. I have to say that's the only hope for the world. That we say yes to that and we allow something, um, something so amazing called a fulfilled human life. I am surrendering into a process of letting myself be revealed that I am in a process and that I'm okay knowing where I'm going with you. It is the only thing that's going to change the world. I'm telling you with conviction that no one's great ideas are going to change these patterns. What is going to change the world is my conviction to do it from a holy place in myself with you from the holy place within you. This is sacred ark work. And there's the mercy seat. Mercy for the fact that we've, we're still on our way and mercy for the fact that the... The love and the provision has never been stopped. And that we, the Lord is a merciful Lord and has not stopped allowing that to be available even though I've been screwing it up. I can say, you know, I'm, I'm standing up here in, in the dome at Sunrise Ranch. I've arrived. I'm the new Jane Anna Trini. Um, but in order for me to hold the space, I have to be humble about the fact that I'm still doing a process. I am still surrendering. I am aware that um, what my life has been dedicated to has mattered. The space I have held for all these years matters, and I will continue to hold it, but I'm still going to be humble about the fact that things still show up, and it's okay because I know what matters. And that holy space, which who are those cherubim? Except part of my sacred mind and heart, perhaps, holding a space for me in their true function. Our mind and heart are designed to be our tools, not our curse. Where our wisdom comes from and our loving comes from and our communion 